In this video, we're going to be taking a look at isotonic, hypertonic, and hypotonic solutions. An isotonic solution describes a solution that has the same solute concentration as another solution. Iso means equal. In this example, we see a cell. The cell contains some solutes. The concentration of solutes in the cell is 20%. That means 80% of the cell must be made up of water. The isotonic tonic solution surrounding the cell also has a concentration of solutes of 20% and an 80% water concentration. Since the solution surrounding the cell is isotonic, there's no net movement of water particles. The overall concentration on both sides of the membrane will remain constant. Therefore, water can move into the cell and out of the cell, but there's no net change. A hypertonic solution describes a solution that has a higher solute concentration than another solution. In this case, we take the same cell that we had before, with a 20% solute concentration and 80% water, and put it into a hypertonic solution. The hypertonic solution has a 40% solute concentration and therefore is 60% water. Water particles will want to move out of the cell, causing the cell to shrivel. The reason being that there's 80% water concentration inside the cell and only 60% on the outside of the cell. So water is going to move out of the cell and we'll see the cell shrivel. A hypotonic solution describes a solution that has a lower solute concentration than another solution. Again, taking the same cell with a 20% solute concentration and 80% water and putting it into a hypotonic solution that only has a 10% solute concentration and therefore is made of 90% water, water particles are going to move into the cell, causing the cell to expand. The reason it's doing this is there's 90% water concentration outside of the cell and it's going to want to move into the cell to try to equalize the concentrations. So water is going to move into the cell and the cell will expand. 